thank you so much for joining today's session today we're going to be talking about something that we all do not really put into practice so guess what have you ever noticed how the ants live their life like this is one very easy beautiful way to take note of our personal finances right today um, we are going to talk about ants and and how we can pick up financial lessons from them so i know that for christians we will know how they talk of them i think someone likened us to like ants and why we should build like ants but for your finances it is very very important to take note of what you are doing like you should act like ants so let, let me just let you know right so typically during the dry season if you are from i don't know i think it's for everybody though I, i've not been to a lot of locations but i know that during the dry season you see a lot of their activities you see them more compared to when it is raining season and because over here we just have to dry two seasons that's i'm going to be using my weather to speak to you so at typically during the dry season come out whenever they see anything on the floor crumbles they ensure that they pick it up and they take it away even if it's um, animal carcass, they pick it up, they take it away. Breadcrumbs, sugar, anything that is edible, they take it away and they store it. We don't know where they are storing it, but we just know that whatever you put on the floor during dry season, you don't allow one ant to know. As soon as that ant knows, it's to come, it's to pick up that food and it to take it away. And if it is a lot of things that it finds on the floor, right, you will find out that it was just one ant that came to check on this thing after surveying it the ant decided to go and call its friends and they would come together and pick up whatever they find as much as they can find and they take it away funny thing is as the weather changes as the weather progresses these activities sort of reduce right these activities sort of reduce and you might be wondering like why exactly does this happen like this guess what there are so many lessons that we can actually pick up from this because they are telling us what to do and how to do it they're showing us the way literally forget that those um things are very tiny yo. so this is what i feel like we should pick up from this and this is what i feel like we can incorporate into our personal finances from and first off in the season of plenty ensure that you are always keeping stuff ensure that you are always um gathering no matter how small no matter how big it is if you find an opportunity to gather food you find an opportunity to gather wealth if you find an opportunity to save your salary ensure that you are always keeping it guys because this is very very important we don't know the day that rain is going to fall we don't know when the weather is going to change because of course there are a lot of us that will be like okay i have a job now i can buy whatever i want i can do whatever i want oh no my business is doing really great so there's no need for me to plan for the future i know that if i continue my hard work blah 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 but if you're in nigeria you know that you already know that the government can do anything that can ruin a business they, they can wake up one morning with one policy and somebody would suffer for it so why would you want to do that and then there's the part of oh you have your job you feel like you have job security but we've come to see that in the new environment that we are the new um, global economy the new tech system a lot of people can wake up one morning with a job and they're getting into the office and then the next minute they are being um, laid off it is that bad so this is why it is important for you that no matter where you find yourself in whatever situation you find yourself if you have the opportunity to gather gather if you have the opportunity to keep um to save save if you have the opportunity to invest invest because you don't know what is going to happen next and of course for some people it's life is quite predictable yes they have their life all sorted out they have family and friends that they can go back to but what about those people that do not so you cannot tell me that yes you don't know the category you fall under there are some of us that know that nobody is coming to save us in adulthood as soon as you become an adult you are going to be on your own you're going to be left alone you're going to be you're just going to have to sort out things by yourself it's not like you cannot go back to family but the dependency on your family is going to be less and you don't want to be among that person that is adding to another person's black tax you know what black tax me if you don't know please check to my page i've made like videos about black tax so 
now that we've settled this matter on being um being able to like gather stuff is very very important we started that one out the next thing you want to put into consideration is having the right circle hmm this one cannot be overemphasized so remember that when one ant finds something when it finds like something it can gather something it can eat something it can um just take right what happens is that they go and call their legion they go and call their army they go and call all their family members they, they can find like you'll be so surprised like it was just small sugar i put here why did all of them just come out from nowhere you need that community you need that energy you need that force of people guys <laughs> you really do need the right set of people that are going to be with you every single step of the way that you're going to be achieving those goals those milestones it doesn't have to be one million people please it doesn't have to be a thousand people it just has to be the set of people that work for you those people that actually work for you you need them in your corner could it be your friend could it be your relation could it be a mentor could it be a role model that you'll be looking up to to show you the way to help you get better with your finances you need that set that really strong circle i guess what i have some of them for you even though you don't want to come and meet me i have people that are together in a community and they love 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 helping each other my community the YPF community has really really been vibrant like in recent time and it gladdens my heart every time i see when anybody has an issue like oh I'm, i don't understand what's happening i heard about this platform and you see everybody contributed to ensure that their questions are answered their, their stuff is sorted i don't understand what to do i need a new side hustle i want to get a new side hustle i want to get a new job and you see people contributing so if you have that kind of community trust me there is no way that you say you want to achieve this feat or you achieve that thing in a particular period of time and you would not achieve it so learn from the ants guys i'm learning from the ants. like when i saw this idea right i was blown away i was like how come i never thought about it how come i've not shared it with you people like it is so simple it is so it's so obvious right but we've not been exactly practicing it we've not been taking note of it and <laughs> I'm not, I, I feel like we've been sleeping on it right i feel like we've been sleeping on it apart from that ensure that you are doing the right thing at the right time so basically what works for me at a particular point in time would not work for you at a particular point in time so you need to understand yourself right you need to understand what you are doing you need to understand what where you want to go to so now if i say i want to earn let's say um what should i let's say 500k now right i say i want to earn 500k in the next two weeks because i know that in the next two weeks i'm supposed to launch a brand i'm supposed to go to my family house i'm supposed to take care of some family things and all of that for you who is single and let's say an undergrad or just a fresh graduate you get to that 500k you would apply it differently in your life compared to me that saying that oh i want to use about family issues i want to use an launch one business or something like that so ensure that whatever you're doing works for you at a particular point in time it's not that you're following one person to go and do the thing that the person is doing because of course it is what works for a person that the person is going to be doing yeah so guys um i've said a lot of things right now like i'm, I'm not sure i've been this excited about uh, a topic before and it's just two lessons i picked up right I, I i talked about how it's important for you to always gather always gather because there's going to be dry season and there's going to be raining season there's going to be a time when things are very good and there's going to be a time where it might not be so great and you don't want to be um stuck or not knowing what to do or what next to do the next thing i said that you need to have a community right you need to have that community that you can always run back to whenever you need help whenever you need to talk whenever you need counsel you need that community yeah and number three i talked about how you need to do what works for you at a particular point in time mr a's problem is going to be different from mr b's problem mr a's goals is definitely then going to be different from mr b's goals so ensure that you understand yourself and ensure that you know what you want to achieve and going forward have like a beautiful beautiful financial journey so i hope you learned one or two things from the ant 
because I was definitely very excited about this episode. <laughs> and I hope that we're going to pick up some of these things. I'm going forward, yeah? Um, let us have conversations like this. And if you watch this video to this time, if you're watching the replay, I'll say thank you so much for watching the replay, even though you're not able to catch the live. And let me know if you have a particular topic you want me to talk about, or you have a particular question you want me to talk about. And yes, we're going to have this conversation <laughs> on our Sunday chit chat. And going forward, I just hope that we continue this. Bye for now, guys. <laughs>